Hello friends of the internet, thanks for joining me today on a discussion about CBD. Um, I am personally a user of CBD and also of cannabis, but as of late I have preferred the use of CBD as it's a lot more convenient than uh, having cannabis around all the time. And it also, um, you know, it, it obviously doesn't have any THC in it, so the, uh, there is no anxiety generating effects from uh, taking CBD as opposed to smoking cannabis. Um, you know, I've started using CBD um, to treat my anxiety, uh, which was especially strong in social situations um, and uh, quite a bit of general anxiety as well. You know, I, I've discovered that that is actually um, quite strongly related to my nutrition and how my body's working and how I'm nourishing my mind and body. And also um, as a result of mindset, which was, you know, um, which created quite a lot of anxiety. So, you know, I found that using CBD, especially in social situations, uh, allowed me to really sort of, you know, let go a little bit and let the, let the light of life shine through a little bit and actually enjoy myself. So I mean, by no, by no means is it a silver bullet solution to anxiety, but it just takes the edge off a little bit and allows you to really enjoy yourself, potentially. You know, everybody's different, so I can't say the same for everyone, but in my experience, I can say that, you know, it took the edge off to the point where I could actually understand what a real situation, social situation felt like without, without it being threatening. And you know, over time, as I continued to take CBD, you know, my perception of these situations began to change. So, you know, in, in actually alleviating the um, immediate discomfort, over time it's trained me to see these situations in another way, which is actually pretty powerful, um, besides just taking the edge off, which, you know, which is what, um, you know, potentially a lot of other pharmaceutical drugs can do. Um, so, I mean, I personally use it at a dosage, dosages around 100 milligrams, um, although I have experimented with doses of up to 300 or 400 milligrams. Um, and what I found is that, you know, that it is very relaxing qualities at those doses. Um, and, you know, it's not, I wouldn't say it's sedating, but it's, it's you know, very, very relaxing. Um, and you know, it, I'm not going to say that it completely takes the sting of anxiety away, but it just sort of calms it down a little bit, so that so that you can enjoy yourself a little bit. Um, so there have been some human studies done on CBD with similar doses of around 300 milligrams to 600 milligrams, and these these have been done on subjects with anxiety and compared against controls who are healthy subjects without anxiety, and they actually found a similar similar results that the participants um, were subjected to a um, public speaking test in which tends to generate quite a lot of anxiety, especially in people who already have anxiety. And they found that the anxiety was actually um, reduced the point of it being the same level as the health controls when 400 milligrams of CBD was, were administered. Um, so, you know, there are human studies um, on the actual uh, documenting the outcomes of CBD in terms of anxiety and there's also a lot of animal studies which have documented the actual mechanisms by which CBD operates. And it's actually pretty fascinating because it has quite a profound effect on several systems in your body. So I mean you have an internal cannabinoid system called the endocannabinoid system which for, your, for yourself will be a very unique um, uh, a unique operation. So I mean, your, the, the way your endocannabinoid system is currently operating or the tone of it will be very different to say mine or someone else's. So, you know, that balance is, um, is very unique to you. So what CBD does is it actually interacts with your endocannabinoids, um, your internal cannabinoids to alter, it, alter the balance of them, which, um, which can actually have quite profound effects on mood and anxiety. So CBD has actually been found to um, inhibit the degradation of an endocannabinoid called anandamide um, through inhibiting an enzyme called fatty acid amide hydroxylase. So 
Um, in having more circulating anandamide internally, that anandamide is able to bind to a greater amount of CB receptors, specifically CB1 and CB2, which is a mediator of inflammation, which is also a factor in mood disorders and anxiety in the brain. So um, it potentially alleviates that anxiety in the brain, which um, you often find with anxiety, but it also, um, by binding to the CB1 receptor, can actually reduce the activity in the areas of the brain which produce anxiety. So you, in your brain you have the limbic system, which is your memory, emotion, and fear processing center. So together, the amygdala, the hippocampus, and the hypothalamus actually form um, uh, a relationship together, communicating information based on your previous life experiences and your perception of situations. So, you know, increasing amounts of anandamide and, you know, through, um, through the administration of CBD can actually help decrease the activity of those brain regions under conditions of anxiety. And what that means is that um, you could also get some sort of physical relief from, from taking CBD if you have, um, let's say, muscular tension um, or maybe gut issues, maybe even pain or nausea from anxiety because essentially the limbic system is connected to the rest of your body through the hypothalamus, which is like the messenger which connects the nervous system and the HPA axis, which is your hormonal, um, hormonal axis which runs, runs throughout your body. Um, it can actually help change the, the downstream communication network from the limbic system throughout your body. So the effects of CBD on anxiety um, can potentially be quite profound. And you know, the, there have been human studies, as I've mentioned earlier, um, but the, the mechanistic studies are mostly done on things like rats and mice. So you know, you, you can't say for certain if it will have the same effect in humans, but um, given the anecdotes that you hear from people and given the, the studies on humans me actually measuring outcomes of anxiety, they also, um, they also looked at things like heart rate and blood pressure, which were found to be reduced. And uh, so combining the mechanisms uh, done on animals, the anecdotes and the, um, the trial, the studies in humans, you can actually get a pretty good, good understanding of CBD's efficacy in treating anxiety. So, you know, if you do want to give it a try yourself, um, you, I'd recommend um, definitely starting low at a dose of something like 10 milligrams um, and working your way up. You know, doses of even as low as 50 milligrams can have some sort of therapeutic effect. It de totally depends on you and and your endocannabinoid function. Um, so, um, you know, yeah, CBD also uh, has quite profound effects on general mood as well. You know, you probably know about serotonin being the happy, um, the happy and very safe um, neurotransmitter, which makes you feel quite, you know, safe and quite happy and your mood is generally elevated. CBD also binds to um, uh, 5-HT1A receptor in a serotonergic system which can actually produce quite, quite an elevation in mood. Um, in addition, um, in some, some other mood disorders like depression and anxiety, there is uh, another area in the um, limbic system called the hippocampus, which is, which is a learning and memory center. And this can actually be quite atrophied. It can be quite, quite it can shrink in terms of, in times of stress, uh, in terms of chronic stress. And CBD, um, potentially, they found this in rodents, can actually induce the growth or the neurogenesis of this brain region, which is quite strongly um, associated with depression and anxiety. So um, that's yet another potential mechanistic benefit of CBD. So if you want to use it, um, you know, I definitely recommend using a full plant extract. Um, with you know quite maybe a number of trace cannabinoids and obviously and maybe not THC given its legal status and potentially anxiety generating effects in large doses. So um, you could also get quite a lot of terpenes in full plant extracts, which contribute to something called the entourage effect. Which um, you know you find terpenes in plants like lavender as well, uh, for example limonene, which is a very uh, 
you know, it's quite a strong anti-anxiety terpene. So by getting full plant extract, not only do you get CBD, but potentially other beneficial compounds like limonene um, and other terpenes and cannabinoids. Um, I use CBD Brothers um, products in the UK. They're an incredibly, um, incredibly trustworthy company. They're very passionate and their quality is like no other. Um, and they do pretty quick shipping if you're in the UK or Europe. So, you know, you can start with very low doses and see, see how you get on. Um, it's a completely subjective experience. So um, if you are interested, then you might consider trying it. So thank you very much for tuning into this video. If you would like to see some more about this, I've written an article on it, which is on my website, which I'll put in the description below. And uh, please feel free to visit my site anyway to um, get more information on uh, nutrition in terms of gut health, mental health, um, and um, please subscribe to my channel for more of these videos. Thank you very much.